go ahead and grab this foam wreath from Dollar Tree and then I'll be using some Waverly chalk paints in the color plaster. Just going to give this two good coats. You want to dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and allow everything to completely dry. Then I'm just going to be mixing some plaster chalk paint with this ocean chalk paint until I get the desired blue color that I want. I just kind of wanted it to be a lighter blue. You then just want to grab four packages of these screwdrivers from Dollar Tree. So you want a total of eight screwdrivers. First, I'm just painting four of the handles with that blue mixture chalk paint. Go ahead and allow that to completely dry. And then with the other four, I'm just using the plaster chalk paint. For the plaster chalk paint, this did end up taking two coats, so just dry the first coat before going on to the second coat. Now once those are all dry, went ahead and grabbed my wreath, and I am using this cutting mat because it does have some measurements on there and it's got some grids so it's going to help me align all the screwdrivers when I'm putting them inside just to make sure that everything is straight so I just started by adding the blue ones first so just put two on each side make sure you add some hot glue while you are sliding it in and then on the other side you want to just add the other two blue handled screwdrivers again make sure you add the hot glue and then in between the blue screwdrivers you want to just start adding in those white ones and again if you want to measure this by all means or if you want to just eyeball it either way i think it's going to come out looking absolutely amazing and if you don't have one of these cutting mats you could definitely just use a ruler to do this step so just add all the screwdrivers until all eight of them are inside of this wreath frame next you want to grab some cardboard or foam board or if you just have a wooden round that is small enough you could use that but i'm just grabbing something uh, round and tracing it onto my cardboard go ahead and just cut that out and then I'm just going to paint the cardboard with that Waverly chalk paint in the color ocean and I did end up cutting two pieces of the rounds go ahead and allow that to dry then I grabbed a package of these anchors from Dollar Tree went ahead and just painted that with plaster chalk paint let that dry grab your wheel Go ahead and just hot glue the first piece of the cardboard in the center of those screwdrivers. Now this didn't really want to stick for me, so I ended up just cutting up some pieces of small ribbon and just hot gluing those around each of the ends of the screwdrivers just to make sure that everything is nice and secure. Then I just glued that anchor in the center of that piece of cardboard. And then I decided to add some nautical rope in four different sections of the wheel. So just hot glue those down. All I did was just wrap it around four times and then just glue the ends, cut off any excess that you may have. And I think this just made a really great accent piece to this decor. And then to cover up the back of the middle section, I just grabbed that second piece of cardboard and just hot glued that right down. Then used another piece of nautical rope and just hot glued it to the top to act as a hanger. Used some more of that small ribbon with some more hot glue on the back of that nautical rope just for that extra support. Now, since I am only using hot glue, I I'm not going to leave this piece outside. I was thinking this would be really cute for like the front of my bathroom door or garage door. But if you were going to leave this outside, you would definitely want to add some like E6000 or Dollar Tree Fix All Adhesive Glue. But there you go, guys. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.